So in honor of our surfing episode, I've come up with a new score system where the top score is a 10 because you hang 10 yeah, and a low really score bad. is you hang one. This is a unique one to 10 score system Super unique. I invented. <laughs> so I want to know your hang one to hang 10. How many actors do you want hanged? How many <laughs> actors do you want hanged? Yeah. Whoa, new Line Cinema presents an awesome ripping, totally stoked. Get on with it. New movie, Surf Ninjas. It's the story of these kids who get booted from their country by this evil dude. That was then. Now they're growing up in L.A. But I say! And their life's one major vacation. But some gnarly ninjas give them a blast from their past. Those boys die tonight. They gotta fight the righteous fight. Rob Schneider. He can get a job as a sushi chef, no problem. Tone Loke. Brothers don't serve. And Leslie Nielsen. Ah, Surf ninjas. I love the part when I was like... "Ah!" Sorry. Quick question. Have you ever been surfing? Mm. Um, regrettably, no. No? No. No. I've always wanted to. Have yeah. ever, it have looks you, fun. Have you ever been a Nazi? <laughs> no. 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 Okay. <laughs> we'll have to go to the tape. <laughs> Sometime in the near future, a major earthquake will lay waste to the entire California coastline. From out of the rubble will rise a menace far more terrifying than the death and destruction. Who rules the beaches? Who rules the surfers? The beautiful beaches, once the crown jewels of California, are now ruled by ruthless gangs. Surf Nazis must die. Adolf. Ava. Mengele, only one person is powerful enough, daring enough, brave enough to stop them. Surf Nazis must die. This is actually one of my favorite movies of all time, so. <laughs> it's pretty I, embarrassing. I, you really want that on the internet? <laughs> yep. Well, it's off to a really strong start here with the surf montage. Right. Yeah. Every day it's breakfast. Did you do your homework? Fight. That's right, Dad. Breakfast, homework, fight. fight. Should we just mute it? Do you think it's <laughs> <laughs> love each other. Cool. We did it in Team Jeff. <laughs> yeah, I also got kicked out of the... Uh, Those are the big two where you're just like, he plays Those the exact same big. character in both ones. Yeah. <laughs> Except this, where he's 30 and playing a teenager. Yeah. I've got nothing. At the place where you're supposed to have the toilet paper, you got this little shelf with three seashells on it. <laughs> He doesn't know how to use the three seashells. <laughs> he came in the first day he fell down a flight of steps and said, Welcome to the world of action. You're a lot of fun to be with, Red! Oh, Are you gonna expect me to know quotes from this movie now? You better. Okay, Here we go. This is what I got so far. This comes up later. Well, the other ninja. Uh, what's his name? Like the canon film ninja movies? Yes. <laughs> I don't think so. You're not coming with us? I'll be there in a minute. You just got a waxy old man to wave friction reducing vehicle. Surfboard. Hilarious. Okay, so then we'll see you at Sorry the timer. Okay. Ninja snorkelers. Is your own predictable man? Uh, oh, minute nine yeah, so right. far. Okay, you probably didn't build that same castle. <laughs> Just destroy it. Just destroy it. Wimby, etym etymological research. We go. Use for decoys. Hey, I'm gonna go. According to Urban Dictionary, a goon, a nameless, faceless part of a gang, a hanger on, a sidekick. Second definition. Commonly misunderstood to be the central player in an all male freeway. Urban Dictionary doesn't give you a lot of, like. History, no. historical context. Yeah, I like how I asked a librarian for etymological research and she gave me urban dictionary. <laughs> Get on the OED. <laughs> no, real real think, research. Think that's going to be in the OED. The creator of Arrested Development. Oh. <laughs> Who did a rewrite on the script. Which is why I'm wearing. Are oh, you wearing Arrested Development? Oh, yeah. Nice. There's always money in the banana stand. Oh, I was also going to bring a game gear, but I couldn't find that either. Oh man. You got on eBay and spent four grand. I own two of them. 
Was there a guy crushing an aluminum can? Uh oh, he's using his spear down again. Octopus. Not the way that he went up the nose, but probably. You wouldn't go for the eyes? I'd I've gone for the eyes. Maybe one in each ear. <laughs> one in each ear. I mean, for a moment, I almost had those guys. I, I love the like... part when I was like... <laughs> <laughs> Sorry. Sorry. Your guest he laughed out loud. I'm going to write it down. <laughs> is that your first He's LOL, do you think? What about the Ever? Kid? Yes, absolutely it is. You'll be we'll compare really? which uh, <laughs> film provides more laughs. Oh my gosh! You're, You're wearing, wearing a dress. dress. You have free access. To no constitution or nothing. Just uh... <laughs> he's a nihilist. <laughs> Excuse me one second. The hemorrhoid guy is back. So the next time you feel that burning, painful itch, <laughs> reach for bunking. <laughs> The only hemorrhoidal cream and suppository with my face on it. It's over? What? I thought there was so much more to happen. Okay. All right, so our, our surf timer is at 2 minutes 41 seconds. Not including. You know, Use the billboards in front of their backwards. But then Maybe you make like the cross out a little darker. <laughs> you know, really cross it out. That looks like the Republican stance on Nazis. Like, Mm. Meh, meh. How confident are we in my ability to open a coconut? Will I bleed? Yeah. Over or under, how much blood? I'm worried about, will I bleed? <laughs> Goofy footers are an inferior breed. Real surfers <laughs> lead with their left foot forward. Who rules the beaches? <laughs> Who rules the surfers? <laughs> Juice! Oh yeah. How long is this song? Like eight seconds on loop? <laughs> Adolf? Yeah. Is his name Adolf? Yeah, it is. <laughs> Sorry, Didi. How many videos do I have of Didi reacting in that way? It's <laughs> pretty like, good, yeah. I don't, nice. Yeah. I don't think you ever need to apologize to Didi for making noise. Pretty good. Oh, more of the song. Okay, what do you think? How are you getting the drink in the coconut? That's Aaron's problem. <laughs> Do you have a funnel? Yes, we have funnels. We have a funnel that hasn't been <laughs> Knitting made easy. <laughs> to find stuff. <laughs> Do you want to drink straight out of it, anybody? Nope. I mean, how bad could it be? You want to drink straight out of it? It's actually really good. Coconut. I'll give it a taste. Fresh coconut water, very tasty. You gotta come to me. <laughs> Just turn it the other way. Turn it the right. Way. Yeah. No. So you, you have to stick your head underneath the coconut. <laughs> <laughs> I like it. Well, that was anticlimactic. Yeah, I wanted to see that I, done yeah, in one shot. I wanted way more like gusto. Just gonna have a chop. Chop! Oh my goodness! Look at that. Excellent. Goofy foot is an inferior dance stance. How dare you? <laughs> I think this one's already going to have better serving. They were at least smart enough to slow mo it. Yeah. Prolong the surf with the slow mo. Yeah, make it more dramatic. You're not timing, Jeff. Yeah, main character surfing. You're going to have time how much Nazism there is, too? I'm going to let you hold on to that. Good luck drinking out of that. It's going to be tricky. You're going to need a straw. Probably right. Yeah. No, you don't need your lips, right? Right. Just burn those off. Yep. While she's doing that, I have a surprise. A surprise? I do. I have a surprise. <laughs> I don't know if I like this. Oh, yes. <laughs> Nazi wear. That's nice. I have three. So who's not shooting from Nazi shot glass? I'm not shooting from a Nazi she's shot glass. She's decided, and I'm not going to make you. <clears throat> you spoke up faster than I did. Too slow. Too slow. <sighs> you gotta be quick. Ugh. Oh, Jaeger, yeah. That's how you Jaeger end up with Nazism pineapple. is not speaking up. Yeah. Yeah. So this is a lesson for us. Right. That is a lesson. That's a good lesson. So this will go really well with our tropical drinks. Oh, please don't give me a whole one. Good God. <laughs> I was like, I don't think they'd be allowed. Uh, My Nazi shot glasses. I bought these in Oklahoma for a dollar. 
These are tiny shot glasses, so you tiny. know what that means. Nazis are pussy ass little drinkers. <laughs> Very tropical. Tastes like college. Yeah. What does that, that make pineapple means? taste like afterwards? Better. Good combo. It's not bad. Jaeger and pineapple. I might Could do be that. a good combo. I might do that. Yeah. Yeah, we this is like the only thing I've ever bought at a thrift store. We went thrifting in Oklahoma City. I don't give a shit about antiquing and stuff. And I was like, no, oh, look, old glass. <laughs> and they're a dollar. I was like, there's no way they realize this is Nazi memorabilia because this would go for way more than that. Adolf, no! Adolf, no! You couldn't handle the power! <laughs> that dude's performed. Harpoon! Performance. I feel like a single shot harpoon does not really intimidate me. You couldn't handle the power! You if he's accurate with the first shot. If it's aimed at me. Right, you gotta send three more guys first. So, what's... Well, just sedate her like the plot so far? I know. Nazis are on a beach. Adolf wants to unite the Nazi gangs. Well, all the surf, the various surf gangs. Right, yeah. various surf gangs. Meanwhile, there's a black lady in a nursing home. Yeah. That's it. Because her house was destroyed by a earthquake. And she's operating a chainsaw. She's not happy with the view from her window. She's got to change it. Kick-ass black old lady. Nazis Ooh. installing weapons in their surfboards. What do you? What? What's not the love? Switchboard. 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 Do you really need it to like pop out? Can't you just leave it out? But then it's not a surprise. It's gotta be the surprise. It's the surprise aspect that matters. So we're burning books and drugs and a cassette tape. Oh, I stole that stole fucking watermelon. watermelon. <laughs> No, not the boombox. That's a sand yoke. <laughs> These Nazis. When are you going to take me on a ride on your hot dog? Hello. Hot wheels? Mm. Listen, bitch. You lay one finger on my man again, and I'll cut those pretty little titties right off. Thought you was at home with the kids. <laughs> You a man at the gay bar today? <laughs> Let's hey. back off! Spill, motherfucker! We were delivered a half a key short! That ain't short, Wheels. That's somebody else's white Christmas. We ain't catering no parties. And I've got you well trained. <laughs> That's right. I'm his personal bitch. You do well to consider a more competent cunt for yourself. No one wants to slam dance. I like the idea of trauma needing extras, so there's like, just go to Skid Row and find the most wired people you can. <laughs> Sick van. More boobs. Boobs. Beach boobs. Can you play this on that? What is this instrument? Sounds like a sax play. Is that sax? I don't know how to play this. Beach, sax on the beach, sax solo. You are trying not to be obnoxious during surf nights. Listen, listen to this. Listen to this. Listen to this. Listen to this. growling. That's pretty close. I feel like I'm pretty close. Knife fight. He's, got the oh, he's just hands. swinging the whole board. It'd probably be better to just have a knife. What seems to be the problem? Adolf <laughs> said. Didi, this is not for you. Didi. Overflow. I tried to tell Jeff that, but he didn't listen to me. I'm getting critiqued on my uh, This is very carving. good. Aaron. Yeah. I feel like I accomplished what I set out to with the carving in that no one's bleeding. What animal is this? Is that a dog? Yeah, is that a dog? We're eating beach dog. DD, you want a barbecued beach dog? They said 80,000 people died, so it's like post Katrina kind of a situation. <laughs> Mega Katrina. Yeah. Who the hell's gonna miss my goddamn nick? Turns out Nazis are racist. Now's the time to look ahead. It's a plot. 
flopped. And remember who our leader is. So, Ronald Reagan. What's our next yeah. move, Ava? We're not gonna move the camera. I'm just gonna leave it at the other end of this hangar. Yeah. You already Where? told me it was trying to be an art film. Artsy. What's he hitting? This is like, like, um, you can't tell him because like the cobra. camera. <laughs> What? Like away. Cobra. We are oh, cultists yeah. banging axes in a music video. Oh, she's hanging out with the Golden Girls. Take that wetsuit off. No way. Adolf is expecting me. Adolf? Good God, Gregory. Is that what that snotty Ricky Johnson calls himself now? Mom. You're not going back to them. They're cool. We're the gnarliest game around, Mom. Yeah, right. I asked Dr. Sneff all about how to deal with you and your neo-Nazi crap. He said you have suppressed hatred for your father and me. I don't hate you. Oh, yes, you do, Gregory. She's somebody, isn't she? I asked Dr. Sneff... <laughs> Everybody's somebody That's to someone. <laughs> Smig? Is his name Smig? Yes. See you later. His gang is. Oh. Right. Can I borrow a couple bucks? Well, okay. I can't give you better prices. Try. <laughs> What's in your hair? I have no idea. <laughs> Her character's name is just Smeg's mom. Smeg's mom. She Smeg's doesn't mom. have a name or anything. Smeg's, Smeg's mom. mom. It just doesn't work like that. <laughs> Surfers rule the waves and not. We're the hottest gang, bro. You're still an asshole, Smeg. There was a nigger who tried to stop the Nazi wave. He ain't around no more. Oh. He's talking white trash! Oh shit, that's the King Crimson cover! Yeah. That's In nice. the court of the Crimson King. <laughs> Clearly, they can't afford Crimson King, uh, no. King Crimson uh, royalties. I mean, Robert Fripp commands, I would assume, a pretty stiff fee. Alright, I'm ready to see. Some Nazis get beat down. Weaponized <laughs> surfboards. Death. I want a kill shot. For sure. That sounds expensive to choreograph and shoot. <laughs> I don't know what we're gonna get anything What's like with that. What's this one paw right here? I think you learned it from B. Soundtrack's not bad. It's not bad. Dude. It's very repetitive. Hey Siri, who is this? This is the Surf Nazis Must Die soundtrack. <laughs> Shazam doesn't know who this is. Yeah, I'd be surprised if this isn't just someone Lloyd Kaufman knew. Yeah. Slime sucking uh, Neanderthal, how dare you yeah, not uh, my uh, loyalty? Shut the fuck up, both of you! Uh, save that shit for them! I think this Come Adolf guy's got an anger problem. What? I know it's not totally fair because I've seen Surf Ninjas 15 times, but I have no idea what's going on in this movie. I don't think there's a lot to the plot. <laughs> no. I think there's gangs. Occasionally they fight, occasionally they surf. I knew exactly There's a black what was lady getting revenge. I know without Rob Schneider around right. to spell okay. it out. Can you chill? He just Whoa! <laughs> it's just turned into Water World. Excellent. <laughs> more bad news, I guess. They're moving in on power. I want that guy to have more lines. What? <laughs> so what are these gangs? So these guys were like under the Nazi thumb, but they're not. I think they're like. We're the yeah, tie dye gang. The we're the ninja gang. Like, so these so these are like Italy and Romania. Quick, name as many Axis powers as you can. Finland, Germany. We left Some you a pretty, big one. Pretty big one. <laughs> we left still, you a big still one. on the table. Coconut. Going with coconut. <laughs> ladies Saturday night special. A ladies gun. Well, that's real nice, dear. But I'm more interested in something that'll take the head off a honky at 20 paces. It's 20, I think she wants paces? a Browning automatic rifle, sir. Walter. Micro gun. 38. Ooh, oh. a Nazi gun. <laughs> Nazi gun. <laughs> you gotta kill take Nazis. You need a Nazi off. gun. Try <laughs> immediately, <laughs> just like cocking a shoot right in the face. Straight up, trying to fire that into his chest. Yeah, now we're the Earth Surfers, riders of the hard wave. Pretty radical, huh? Hard wave. <laughs> Earth still the years of hard wave. So skateboarders. Yeah. I like that. I like that. Good. Oh yeah. Training Sunset. montage. Sunset. I like it. Tai Chi. Like it. it should be nude though. It does look like fast Tai Chi though. It does not. What look is like it? Uh, Die Hard Two the guy does nude Tai Chi, <laughs> right? The diplomat? No, you're thinking of Lethal Weapon. 
Well, I am thinking of Lethal Weapon. I was also thinking Die Hard 2. Oh, I have not seen Die Hard 2. That's the Die Hard on an airport? Yeah. I am disappointed in the amount of gratuitous boobs. Do you want seen. more? I just feel like there should be more. We've had it twice. Twice. Yeah, for a trauma film that involves bikinis. Oh, here we go. I feel some murdering coming up. Did they pay the actors by the word? Because... <laughs> That does seem like a trauma contract thing. I'm a main character. I'll get paid a lot. You have four lines. <laughs> more I'll surfing. Yeah, I guarantee you this movie has more surfing shots. Good I don't lines. know if that's a good thing, but it has it. <laughs> They're all slow mo. Yeah, so. it's lots of. I bet you some of these are reused. Plus, Tra it's never anyone that's actually in another shot. It's just. Yeah, it's just like from a they, they haven't done like the set piece of like here's a hundred people attacking an island. They haven't done that. <laughs> this is just creep shots they took at the beach. I was gonna say they just went to like a surfing competition <laughs> and just like yeah, creep shots covertly took some footage. Uh, Troma famously, there's a certain car crash that they filmed that they have put in like five movies. It's in like every movie. After they made, the, they're like that car crash was cool. Every car crash after that, they use the same shot. The car flip scene in Kabuki Man is a, a, a very good car flip, and uh, we uh, got very lucky with it. Uh, we had five cameras, and uh, I was on the closest camera to the car. And the, um, the guy driving the car, uh, very often the stuntmen are cowboys, and uh, he got a little too revved up, and he went too far. But it went very close to my camera, which means the shot looks great. <laughs> Trash can. <laughs> he just fucking Oscar the Grouch him. <laughs> Oscar the Grouch. Ooh. Ooh. Oh, that was a dick. Ooh. A dick what? What yeah. did he do there? A dick hook. A, a dick hook. Dick hooking. Was that the hook guy? Yeah, that was a hook guy. That was a dooking. Beer and phone booth. Whoa, he threw a acid, acid attack? Acid oh attack. My God. Yeah. Just with your teeth? <laughs> Those are some strong teeth. Oh, that really hurts. <laughs> you are useless to me now, Brutus. Check him on the knife again. In Russian. Hey, Pepsi. Oh, grenades. Nice. Look, I gave him a hook. Grenades! What is Mangala? Dr. Mangala. Yeah, like he was a, the doctor at the he camps. He did weird experiments and shit. He's famous for <laughs> having a human skin lampshade, right? I did not know that. Maybe I'm getting him mixed up with Ed Gein, but... I think Ed Gein had a belt made out of nipples. Yeah. Do you think your belt made of nipples? You get everything fitting right, and then you go outside and it's cold, and it cinches up. <laughs> I don't think that dead human skin works that way. Do dead nipples contract when it's cold? I'm not Googling Melissa that. Melissa's saying no, <laughs> but they do not. That's what's the incognito mode is. Write in the comments, dead nipples, mm -hmm. when they're cold, do they shrink? Mm -hmm. If only I had an extra one, we could, we could experiment. My dad got an extra one recently. My parents started fostering this chihuahua that like, likes to suck on things. And then he came over and was like, yeah, she started sucking on my chest. <laughs> like it's, she's trying to suckle on him. And he showed me, it looks legit like he has a third or fourth nipple. He gave him hickeys, like serious hickeys. They had this dog for like a week. You mess with me 
and your dead meat with us. Look at the nurses. Is the nurse the, the Nazi lady? I don't think so. I don't think people are allowed to change clothes in this movie. <laughs> they don't have a budget for that. So they stole a motorcycle and she stole their van. Yep. I don't know why they took her motorcycle. Faster than the men? We're about to find out. Shark van. That shot needed to linger longer, I think. <laughs> I'm your worst fucking nightmare. You hear me? <laughs> Thank you, Adolf. Why do you suppose your little blind boy quit coming around? Should you call him Adolf or Gadolf? <laughs> Thank you, Adolf. Thank you, Adolf. Hey, dude. Hey, dude. Hey, dude. Yes, ma'am. What do you say we take the boat out in the harbor and try our luck out there? Today's your lucky <coughs> day, sucker. <laughs> you and me are going trolling for some surfers. Brought a surfboard to a boat fight. <laughs> what a, what a That surfboard's gone. Oh! oh shit. She got the engine. Whoa! Shit. Whoa! Yep. Okay then. And it, did they sharpen the boat? Like, is that the motor? Yeah, I think just, the motor got it. just like the front of the boat header, right? I think the whole boat passed are, over. Are boats that sharp? Oh my god. That's a good toss. Oh, she's real helpful to him. Just <laughs> chuck it on You're no use. <laughs> Has she ever driven a boat? She know how to drive a boat? Five minutes of her reading manual. <laughs> Take a quick boat safety course. She's driving it one handed. It's a victory, Black and Mild. Yep. This could be a Swisher sweet. I was going to say Swisher. Oh my god! Taste some of Mama's home cooking, Adolf! <laughs> the Samurai Surfers, Wang, Yin, and Yang. Wang yin and yang. Wang yin yang. Curl blow dry. Curl blow dry. The designers. Sex puppy. Sex puppy? Ross Allman was sex puppy. I wonder if that was the guy on the noose. It was in the bar. Yeah, I saw them being led around. Yeah. Dee Dee. Dee Dee, are There's you a Nazi Dee Dee. youth? Are you Nazi youth, Dee Dee? Oh yeah. Oh right in the right in the upper palate. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> Now's the time to look ahead. Plot. What, was, what is Surf Ninjas about? All right, so Surf Ninjas, the story of a visually impaired hobo uh, <laughs> rescuing a group of children because of destiny. <laughs> to the Fortress of Death? To the Fortress of Death. Is that right? <clears throat> uh, <laughs> the clutches of Liam Neeson. Right. Yeah. <laughs> Leslie Nielsen. <laughs> Leslie Nielsen. <laughs> Leslie Nielsen. <laughs> Thirty-year-old man pretending to be a seventeen-year-old. Uh, I was the Thailand with delusions for of delusional reasons. Yeah, I glossed over that part, I guess. Jess used to have a landlord who would go to Thailand every year for fishing. Mm. How are we spelling fishing? <laughs> yeah, right. <laughs> Is there a P in there? Oh, there was a P in there. Oh, there was a P. <laughs> Calvin Wilson of the Kansas City Star called the film, quote, a disgrace even by Hollywood standards. Wow. Yikes. Seeing it as a mess of child lead roles, unfunny cameos, martial arts action, and lame jokes, he considered the story stale and uninspired that involved people we don't care about doing things we can't believe. Harsh for a children's movie. Yeah, that's seemed pretty Jeez. Harsh. harsh. They made Leslie Nielsen not funny. That was an accomplishment. You have Leslie yeah. Nielsen do a goofy shit, and I was like, 
I remember it being hilarious when I was a kid, though. When was the last time you saw it? A year ago. A year ago, you watched yeah, it? Yeah, probably. Yeah. So... <laughs> Were you a kid then? No, no. Okay. I said the, when I originally saw it, I remember it being hilarious. At what age is it peak funny? It Here's funny. the thing. I feel like you're going to get two peaks. It's a double peak. You're going to get your preteen peak. And then when you're a teenager, you're nothing's funny. Cool. Everything's shit. Cool. I was going 12 for the first peak. First peak's 12. Yeah. Yeah, 8 to 12. Children peak in sexuality at 12, he said. <laughs> <laughs> That's not what happened. Pretty sure. <laughs> I was going 12 for the first peak. First peak's 12. Yeah. Yeah, 8 to 12. Second peak, I feel like, like right after high school. So yeah, when funny, you start huh? smoking weed in college. Oh, they made, Twin Peaks. They made Leslie Nielsen not funny. Leslie Nielsen's uh, funny when he's being the boring straight man, but yeah. is doing absurd things. Yeah. I'd like to know Leslie Nielsen's thoughts on Surf Ninjas. Ooh, we could we may, may not, not hear them. ask him. <laughs> <laughs> the thing is that we know that we're being funny, but you can't let the audience know for one second that you're trying to be funny, not for one second. I, although I will do almost anything I can for a laugh. <laughs> Comedian is someone who says funny things. Comic is someone who says things funny. So I'm neither. I'm someone who says unfunny things. I say unfunny things in an unfunny way. And somehow it seems to end up funny. <laughs> the director, Neil Israel, never directed a feature film again. <laughs> I think I knew that. It's not like he did a bad job. He was the co-writer on Look Who's Talking 2, mm. Police Academy, and Real Genius. Like, the, oh, like yeah, Police that's... Academy 1? Police Academy. Wow. Yeah. He was married to Amy Heckerling. She directed Fast Times at Ridgemont High, National Lampoon's European Vacation, Look Who's Talking 1 and 2, Clueless. Oh, Clueless. They had a, do a daughter together named Molly Israel, who was born in 1985. So, your people. Yep. Except, no, they didn't, because he was not the father. It came out <laughs> later. Aww. He was not the father. She had an affair with a famous comedian, actor, director, writer. Not Leslie Nielsen. <laughs> you get five <laughs> points if you can guess it. I already 80s, read your screen. You can read my screen. So, an 80s writer, director, actor. If you need an extra clue, I've got one. What I'm ready got? for the clue. What do you got? Well, it might give it away because you said director, so. I don't think they're going <laughs> to. One of hey, the Ghostbusters. He's a Ghostbuster. He's a Ghostbuster. Is it Sam Raimi? Sam You're not so close. <laughs> I think he knows who he... Egon? Yeah. Harold Ramis. Harold Ramis. That's a go. different person. <laughs> it is a different person, but that is who I was thinking. Harold of. Ramis uh, is older than a daughter. Fun facts. I don't know that it was fun, but it was <laughs> More bad news, I guess. <laughs> yeah. He it wasn't fun for Neil. <laughs> Violet Ramis Steele. Harold Ramis's other daughter, her biography, which is called something like The Daughter of a Ghostbuster. It's something stupid like that. But there's an exchange where Harold Ramis said to her, have you ever seen Look Who's Talking? Well, you know that married asshole that gets Kirstie Alley's character pregnant and then won't leave his wife? That's me. <laughs> uh, it was co-written by a man named Dan Gordon, who's from Israel. Neil Israel. Who's and, Jewish. And Dan And Dan Gordon, who is from Israel and also Jewish. So there's two Jewish men. So I want to retitle the film Jewish Teenage Surfing Ninjas. They could have been really, Jewish. Really capitalize on the uh, Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles angle. Yeah. Do you have a new a new title for the film? I'm going to suck your dick like I'm mad at it. Willie the One-Eyed Black Belt. It's a line from the movie. Winky. No, his name is Winky. Winky the One-Eyed <laughs> Winky the One-Eyed Black Belt. Anybody else? New title? Jewish Teenage Surfing Ninjas. Can you beat that? I don't feel like I can, though. Just pick four words. Any four words. <laughs> Any, four. Any four words. Any four words will do. Ninjas who are bad at their jobs? I don't know. <laughs> ninjas who are bad at their jobs. <laughs> yeah, d ninjas. Bad 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 ninjas. Like bad teacher. I'm going to suck your dick like I'm mad at it. It's the best line in the whole movie. <laughs> Writer Dan Gordon, he also wrote Passenger 57 in The Hurricane. Dan Gordon was initially contracted to direct and write the film. He screen tested an actor who was to play a dumb surfer character. At first he wanted his own son to play the role, but the studio said no, get a real actor. So <laughs> he brought in a real actor to be a dumb surfer. The head of New Line Cinema, Bob Shea, thought the actor was so stupid that he fired him on the spot. Wow. Dan Gordon. He fired Dan Gordon on the spot. Quote, that's the dumbest fucking kid I ever saw in my life. How could you cast him? He looked at Shay and said, Bob, have you read the script? 
<laughs> what a story. Yeah. New Line Cinema and Sega of America established a financial relationship in which a Sega Game Gear video game would be developed for the film. Game designers began developing the video game when the film was in its scripting phase. Director Neil Israel gave input on the game and Sega partially financed the film. Oh, uh, that was nice. This is all yeah. a big commercial for Sega. Yeah. You think they would have featured the Game Gear a little more then? There is a lot of Game Gear. <laughs> It was a fair amount. It was a, ti a time traveling, not time traveling. A prophecy a, device. A prophesizing yeah. Game Gear. How many? How many different scenes did the little okay, kid the, like? Here's what's gonna happen. Or he made things few, happen by hitting buttons. Yeah. Five times. I'd go up. I'd go over five. That's a lot of times. There might have been more Game Gear <laughs> screen time than surfing screen time. Ernie Reyes Jr. said Leslie Nielsen remained in character off camera. Nice. His I character being... Leslie Nielsen. <laughs> Leslie Nielsen wearing robot yeah. things. Yep. I think he just never met Leslie Nielsen before. <laughs> Ernie Reyes Jr. was offered the role of Donatello for Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles 3, but he was too busy making this. No Kino in TMN no. Kino, 3? Kino's not in 3. They go back in time. Yeah. It's pretty they awful. They could bring Kino with them. They don't, though. I'm going to suck your dick like I'm mad at it. <laughs> What's the best Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles film? In my opinion? Yeah. Secret of the Use. It's got Vanilla Ice. It does. It's got Kino. It's got Kino. What else do you need? You don't need anything you else. You don't need anything else? I mean, the first one's good. It's classic. Yeah, I like the plot of one. Yeah. That's I good. know that I preferred two, but I haven't seen either of them since I was like 10. I was a big Turtles kid, though. Power Rangers came out. I was like, fuck Power Rangers. Pokemon, fuck you. Turtles. Yep. He's with me. Yep. You're not with me. 100%. No. You're all yeah. like... Digimon or Dragon Ball Z or some shit. Dragon Ball Z. Dragon yes. Ball Z. Absolutely. No, Digimon Melissa, was way better. Where are you at on Turtles? Were you into Turtles? Were they oh. an, an available option? <laughs> I feel oh. like the only. What's the homeschool version of Turtles? <laughs> I feel like the only proper answer is that I like Turtles, yeah. but I don't. <laughs> Wait, speaking Did of Turtles. Did you know what they were? I knew what the Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles were, yeah. But I, we, I, we did not watch them. Was it an option? No. So what, what did you have a weird Christian version? No, not really. I mean... Teenage Mutant Ninja Rabbis. <laughs> oh, there we go. We're back to the Jewish ones. No, we didn't. Speaking of turtles, no. my mom sent me this the other day while I was this at work. This is a photo of turtles humping. <laughs> and she sent along with it a text saying, I wish I could send video. Uh, It'd then, be a long video. <laughs> yeah, she said they've been going at it for about 30 minutes. So, like, how, ma how many pumps are in 30 minutes of turtle humping? <laughs> 30 minutes? 30 minutes. I'm gonna go 25. So a pump is like a minute 10? Yeah. How many? How long does a, a turtle hump pump take? I have no I have no measure for this. You just gotta make up a number. I don't just pick I a don't, number. Um, Any number. Roll a die. It's like four random words, but it's not. Do you nice. have do you have a hundred a hundred die for me? No imagination. <laughs> this is what happens when you uh, are homeschooled. Yeah. <laughs> you, you can't pick a random number. Just the concept your, of turtle. Your humping. imagination is so short circuited. I can't. I can't count above twenty with my with my socks on. So. What are you gesturing at me? Oh, uh, Aaron is off screen, <laughs> being like sixty nine. It's got to be sixty nine. Here we go. I'll give you a D one hundred. I times. don't want it now. What do you get? What do you get? Thirteen. Turtle, it's a turtle 13. pump is thirteen. Thirteen, 13. seconds. No, it's no, thirteen, 13 per, pumps. Thirteen, 13 pumps in thirty, in 30 minutes. minutes. Yeah, the die have spoken. So like 2.4? I don't know, I don't math. Minutes per pump? Tone lock, tone loke, how do we pronounce this? Lock. Tone lock. Yeah. I've been saying it wrong my whole I'm life. I'm pretty sure it's tone lock. I'm pretty sure you're probably wrong. <laughs> tone <laughs> lock. Out of all the action, out of the coolios and the tone lokes and the Michelets and the... This is how dope he is. This is how dope Tone Loke is. Well, I, I can say him. I'll no. give him that. Could not handle the Thai food. That's part of the film. Too is. hot? That's not surprising. I, He's pooping his pants, is what that means. Now I know you're thinking about diarrhea. <laughs> well, I'm just an actor, but I get diarrhea all the time. <laughs> That's why Saladex is always in my medicine case. They say oh. Ringo Starr can't handle Indian food. That means he's pooping his pants. Ringo Starr famously ate nothing but like canned beans when the Beatles were in India like, <laughs> that he had to bring with him. Tone Lock ate what instead? He had this everyday catering, brought him the same thing every day. What was it? Chicken fingers. Yeah, I'm assuming there's McDonald's in... It's not fast food. Oh. 
Spam. That's a good. That's a good guess. It's a sandwich. It's a kind of sandwich. Kind of Peanut butter jelly. Peanut butter jelly sandwich. He gets a point. The film was made as a vehicle for Ernie Reyes Jr. because New Line Cinema saw potential in him after Secrets of the Ooze. They thought this is a I star. Mean, he's We've quality. Got a star in our hands. He's got like good line delivery. Does everything. he? Yeah, I thought he was funny. Hey, little kid was funnier, but yeah, he was outshined by the little brother. It's hard not to get outshined by. Yeah, no. And it didn't make money, and he's no. not a star anymore. The delivery of his lines weren't natural. See? She says not good. The little I kids were, even though they were really corny jokes. Ernie Reyes Jr. is also in Red Sonia. He's about, what, eight in that? Oh, God, yeah. He's, he's young. He's extremely tiny. obnoxious little uh, eight-year-old. He's so annoying, and you're like, that's some good acting because <laughs> he's that's awesome. great eating. I'm, I'm with you. This is an yeah. annoying fucking little kid. Boy? Boy? His Royal Highness, the Prince Tarn. Great Lord of Havelock, keeper of the spotless throne, great elephant who fertilizes the world with his- I've told you not to say that. Do it again, and I'll have you impaled. Bogan, since everyone is dead or run away, you shall escort me to the mountains tomorrow. I shall raise a new army. What would you change if you could change one thing about the film? What you, More surfing. What More surfing. That one surfing battle sequence, they needed to be like throwing dynamite, you know? Charlie don't surf and there's explosions going off in the surf. Like in Yeah, the, the fact now. that they surfed like unopposed onto the beach was a missed opportunity yes. for you needed, surfing You needed combat. a machine gun trying to mow them down. Like bomb Yeah, style. Omaha Beach. I would have liked more Leslie Nielsen. Not Leslie Nielsen in the film. Oh, just not yeah. him. He was... He, he, he has to play the, like, straight man. If he's being a weird, goofy villain. But if you make him, like, a straight villain. I'm always associated with being, a, you know, a man who has a background and education. And I'm well-mannered. And, you know, I have to protect, protect that image. When I'm he's not good when he's being goofy. And they keep putting him in. Yeah, how does he become the leader of this military cult? Generally, more people around being like, what's the fucking deal with Rob Schneider? Like, I think it would be a really funny, like, fourth wall break if, like, there were people throughout the film just, like, staring at you, like, why are you even here? Like, they accept his character, and I'm like, I feel like it'd be <laughs> this funnier. This fucking guy. Like, why, why is he here? Uh, recasting ideas. I'm getting rid of Leslie Nielsen. Yeah, Michael Ironside. Michael Ironside, that's good. I've seen him play a similar bad guy in another sci-fi movie. So I feel like he would be perfect for this role. I can't remember the name of the movie. It's a got... similar sci-fi movie to Surf Ninjas? Well, it's like that same plot line. <laughs> About ninjas surfing? <laughs> no, just the, the basic... <laughs> Take out all the adjectives. Mm, okay. <laughs> it's just that plot, you know? What movie like is Like royalty this? returning back to take over their kingdom? Okay, there may there may not be any royalty. That's an adjective. <laughs> <laughs> that was an adjective. So it's a movie about people. a teenager <laughs> people going who to fights the, a bad guy. Defeating a bad guy. It's a movie about people defeating a bad guy. Oh, that one. And Michael oh, Arnold okay, is gotcha. the bad guy. Right, gotcha. right, 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 right. I would replace Leslie Nielsen with Sam Kinison. But women, if there's something that turns you on, if there's something that gets you excited, <laughs> something that really gets you hot, makes you nasty, how about filling us in? Or alternate idea, Ted Levine. He's uh, Buffalo Bob in Silence of the Lambs. I want a weird, crazy cult leader on a weird island that's scary. And sure. not Leslie Nielsen being a goofy robot. Sure. How about Jeremy Irons? <laughs> <laughs> Don't know and, if they got the budget. And Michael Ironside. <laughs> uh, if you got to keep one prop. Like the staff thing with the blade on it. A a tier. What's that? Oh, the really right. wobbly blade? Yeah, yeah. With the wobbly blade, that's yeah. what I want. Floppy blade? Yeah. yeah. I have short arms, so I feel like that would help me in. I'm torn between Satch's eye patch and Leslie Nielsen's like face. Half, half face. face. Yeah. Yeah. A half face. That'd be the part that's cool. not made out of a Leslie Nielsen. <laughs> or just Leslie Nielsen's skeleton. Yeah, just that side of it. Okay. The fleshy side. He is dead, right? I'm pretty sure. He's <laughs> yeah. Pretty sure. We're gonna get a strong worded <laughs> email from Leslie Nielsen's PR firm. <laughs> Leslie Nielsen is not dead. How dare you guys? They'd probably be fine with it. Your one F bomb. Ooh, yeah. Where's it gonna go? So mine is the third time the guy falls down the stairs at the end. <laughs> the hemorrhoids <Okay>. guy. <laughs> My hemorrhoids. Um, your 
you're a maniac, your father was a maniac, uh, and the last time it, he says it, it's your, you're a fucking maniac. I'm gonna just take yours and modify it no. for mine, which is, I was a maniac, your dad's a maniac, his dad was a maniac, and his, his dad, dad was... was a fuck maniac. A fuck maniac. Instead of fucking. Instead of a fucking maniac. <laughs> I feel like a fuck okay. maniac is different. <laughs> Yeah. It is, it it is, is different. different. It's, it's different. definitely different, yeah. You're inserting your 1F bomb. We're keeping our PG-13. Was this PG-13? It's probably PG. I want to hear Leslie Nielsen drop an I F-bomb. I don't remember any blood. Shokusogi got shot, but I don't think there was hardly any blood. I don't remember I'm blood. I'm going to keep calling him Shokusogi. Even though it's, it's not he, him? He just reminds me of what Shokusogi with the eye patch. It's PG. It is PG. So well, we, would, not even 13. we would elevate to the 13 with yeah. our one of bomb. I'm gonna, I want Leslie Nielsen to use it. Uh, no, not right now, Ed. Uh, we got work to do. I would like us to form a new religion with some sort of seer stone, seer device. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. We've got the game gear, something like that. Yeah, something else. Something different. How about just like the thing on your phone where it predicts the next word you're gonna type? Autocorrect. Uh, auto is, like is it no. autocorrect auto or what is it? Predictive text. Predictive text. Predictive text. Predictive text. Yeah. Predictive text. Predictive like text. All right. But it's omniscient text. It's omniscient. Omniscient <laughs> yeah. predictive text. Like Jacob, like we're going to start a religion right now. That's pretty good. <laughs> I'm going to text you something. I just need one letter. Give me a P. letter. P. Please send the potentially privileged information to a friend of mine who is in possession <laughs> of the ball back tied to the dead zone. Ooh. Wow. Nice. So that's our first, that's, that's, that's in, the yeah. in the beginning. In the beginning. Okay, wait, I have to respond. Give me a letter. Melissa, has to be Melissa. Say Two. a random letter. Queen size bed room. Queen size bedroom. For sale in North Casey Park in North, oh, it, it's If it a hits loop. a loop, we end. Uh. Okay, so that's uh, commandment two. <laughs> What's our interpretation of that? I'm his personal bitch. The queen will rise again in North Kansas City. Ah. In the park. So we need to go to the park in uh, North Kansas City until we see a birth. <laughs> and then that will be the future queen. Yeah, 100%. Okay. Absolutely. All right, Melissa, give me another letter. <laughs> <laughs> Why do I have to give you another letter? Because you're so bad at random things. Because <laughs> you have no imagination. You couldn't handle the power! F. For example, <laughs> in the playoffs... Why is your sword better than mine? For the last year, and proceeded with a gun that <laughs> has to divulge the power of his... Uh, waving emoji. <laughs> so that one's more straightforward, I feel like. What, so what do we got? What does that mean? So An interpretation, please. Power will be taken by force. Is this force? <laughs> We've ended up on a Nazi... Yeah. No, it's yeah. this. Yeah. We've it ended up that. on a yeah. Nazi yeah. death cult. Now so we're right leading into, into something so about a Nazi shit. death cult. Yeah. Speaking of Nazi death cults, do you remember what the first one was? The actual laugh out loud? No idea. No, don't remember. Roll the footage. I love the part when I was like, oh, <laughs> Sorry, your guest. You laughed out loud. The chuckle, we debated whether or not it was a laugh out loud, and you insisted it was a chuckle. <laughs> you remember what that was about? No. It was literally a visual gag. I remember it. Oh, it was the binoculars. Yeah. You're laughing at a man's disability. <laughs> the fact that like, they actually did it of the binoculars. And disabilities are funny, dude. <laughs> no, a disability is not funny. I feel like it is. <laughs> It feels like it is. Anyway, speaking of Nazis and people who hate disabilities. <laughs> Now's the time to look ahead. To plot. Uh, in a post-apocalyptic world, a bunch of Nazis murder a black man and then his mother takes revenge. That's just accurate, not <laughs> technically accurate. There was a sex puppy. There was a sex puppy. So there was a variety of gangs. That were all Axis powers. So we had a Romania and an Italy and a Japan. And they sort of fought and sometimes were working together. Mm -hmm. And so there's some sort of power struggle on a section of beach over the fact that they don't want others to surf in their territory. Yeah. yeah. And then they do heists like stealing a watermelon. And 
mostly they like bicker with each other. Spill, motherfucker! Kill a black dude and then an old black grandma who likes chainsaws. Ladies Saturday night special. A lady's gun! And grenades comes and gets revenge and chops one of their heads off and shoots a dude in the head. There's a lot of plot. No. There's plot. <laughs> There's some plot. Uh, uh. He's talking white trash! Lots of heavy downbeats. Can you do the sex oboe? I don't think so. Can could, you attempt? Was, I can attempt it. Sex oboe. Hopefully that the mic picked that up. I don't know. If I mean, you up. could like shove it right in your mic. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Not the worst. That's all right. Sex oboe. 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 It has the feeling of like an experiment done by a someone that's like an editor that's in college. They're like, I'm just gonna take two different movies and just sit in an editing, what editing the, room and try to mash them together. <laughs> what was the second movie? Well, there's the, the beach Nazis and all that stuff. Okay. And then it's like, we cut to a teenage boy and his mom's like, ah, shenanigans with the little boy. Like, this is a different <laughs> movie. For the gnarliest game around, Mom. Yeah, right. It, Smeg. Where the hell you think you're going? And then it's like a black lady in a nursing home, and that seems like a different movie. She's not even happy with the view from her window. I was half expecting uh, Steven Soderbergh to walk out at the end and be like, "If you didn't understand this film, it's your fault." <laughs> yeah. Smell sign, nose army. It reminded me of the movie The Warriors, but oh. with less plot. If I were to go in and trim out lots of like slow motion surfing scenes and scenes where no nothing happens, could I make a 40 minute film that's pretty inter no. entertaining? No. More bad news, I guess. No? 25 maybe. 25? Mm. Yeah. He says 25. And borderline entertaining. Dear Adolf, there's some gnarly trouble coming your way. I'm his personal bitch. Today's your lucky day, sucker! <laughs> yeah, so it would be a 25-minute first episode of a TV series. Yeah. That ends with the main bad guy getting shot in the head. But I'm more interested in something that'll take the head off a honky at 20 paces. Well, the grandma future episodes is she takes over. So she goes... Yeah. And, and it's the Marshall Plan. She goes that. 100 meters down the beach to the next gang. <laughs> no, she just starts her own gang. Oh, she's taking over that section of beach. Right. Yeah, okay. she's going to try and she's going to start a gang that's like, oh, I'm going to police this area and right. like clean it up. Yeah. But then the police become the problem. Right. You couldn't handle the power! So she's Charles Bronson. I just love how it's this very serious gang violence in the future. And then it cuts to like, hi, mom, I'm home from hanging out with the gang. Can I have two dollars of allowance? It's like, what? Gail Neely, who plays the old black lady grandma. Okay. I'm your worst fucking nightmare. Eleanor Mama Washington. So when you look on IMDb, there's like a headshot usually of that actor. Her headshot is from behind. So it's in the back of her head as she's holding the gun in Adolf's mouth. So her headshot is a headshot. Hmm. Nice. So what were our uh, Nazi character names? Adolf. We had Adolf. Ava. Smig. Ava for Ava Brown. Smeg. <laughs> the other one was and the one Mangala. I didn't know. Mangala for Joseph Mangala, which is a weird choice. Yeah. Because it's Doctor. like, you can reference You some... could have gone with Goebbels. Yeah. Like the propaganda guy who's... I mean, he's pretty far down the list of like prominent Nazis. Uh, there's a few that are like very closely tied to gross experiments in the con concentration camps. Yeah, so really it's like, hate In your crimes. fun campy film, we're like, let's really think about the concentration camp angle. It's like, oh, we've gone with like 47 other Nazis before. Plus Mangala. Goebbels' name is just, it's like a funny sounding name. So which Nazi would you have gone with? <laughs> name a prominent Nazi. I don't think, I think Mangala makes sense. You so, like it. You yeah. liked Mangala. Goebbels was like more, I feel like since it was, he was a propaganda guy, like he 
was more subtle in like his atrocities, but Mangle like did like really horrible things, and the character they were trying to portray hands on. He's a hands on. He, Nazi. Yeah, he, they were both. He's hands on, so it makes it makes sense with the character they were trying to portray. Oh, Mangle. Himmler ran the SS, Himmler, right? Head of the SS ran, but like was Himmler in there? Like actually, Himmler overrated. <laughs> <laughs> I got on the Rudolf Hess. He was uh, Hitler's real like friend sidekick. Yeah, and kind of. Not very important as a Nazi. He was mostly just like Adolf's buddy. Hype man. His hype man. Yeah, there you go. Shut the fuck off, both of you! Uh, beach sex oboe, I have written down. Nailed it. Prop you'd want to keep. Hook hand. Hook hand. Yeah. Switchblade go... surfboard. I'm going to go ahead and say, I did not like the hook hand. Why? I like the idea of the hook hand. Uh -huh. I thought it looked dumb. It, it looked look really dumb, bad. But I want, like, <laughs> it's a prominent prop from, like, oh, it you got prominent. that from Surf Ninjas, or from Nazi Ninjas must die. <laughs> Nazi ninjas must <laughs> die. What is this called? You know what? I want the van. That was my pick. I want the but van. But I'm going to paint over all the swastikas. I'm going to leave that sweet shark mouth. Right. Shark mouth. Right. Thin on top. Chainsaw. Chainsaw. Oh, Mama's chainsaw. We, we oh, get a lot chainsaw. of chainsaw. Did she ever <laughs> no. use it again after the like? I don't think no. so. No, you can just buy a chainsaw, they an right? There. For a yeah, chainsaw. for sure. That she should have gone and chopped somebody's yeah. arm off with yeah. that thing. Yeah. I, why did you get a gun? You just chainsaw. Right. See, on the cover, there's someone with a chainsaw what's, strapped to a cover? surfboard. Yeah, oh, I was. Yeah, it's in the surfboard. Expecting chainsaw surfboard combat action did not happen. And uh, what is this gun? That looks like an Uzi. Or a Uzi. That's an Uzi. A an Jewish Israel. gun. <laughs> That's a Jewish gun. Which was not in the film. New title. Today's your lucky day, sucker. <laughs> Mama's Revenge. That's the sequel. She took revenge in this film. <laughs> well, you gotta clean out the Nazis. The Nuremberg Trials. Oh, film two is a right. Surf Nazis trials. two, Mama's yeah. Revenge. Yeah. Another colon. We do the trials. Yeah. Nuremberg trials. No, I think the sequel is, uh, yeah, she, she goes 100 meters down the beach where there's Italian fascists, where there's, instead of Adolf, there's a Mussolini, a surf Mussolini. Oh, she hangs them? How do you hang someone from a surfboard? Uh, oh, my uh, technically accurate description. A confused elderly woman murders cosplayers. <laughs> because. Was she confused? I'm stretching it, maybe. <laughs> stretching that. More bad news, I guess. They are just cosplaying the yeah. when the teenage kid is like hanging out with mom being like mom they're the gnarliest gang and he says something about adolf and the mom says like adolf good god gregory is that what that snotty ricky johnson calls himself now mom <laughs> they're just playing make-believe drinking game uh every time you see a swastika drink oh jeez <laughs> <laughs> Double drink if it's facing the wrong way. Oh, yeah. There are some, they put an extra little tail on every I week. noticed that. Yeah. And there's yeah. some that are backwards. Every time Hook Hand gets a new hook, you take a shot. Compared to the trauma films I've seen, this is like an art film. This is like some college kid made, you know. It's I not super competently made. I was surprised at the lack of practical effects yeah. based on the other trauma films. Right. Yeah. Yeah. Other trauma films are far sillier and over the top, yeah. and this is like taking itself pretty seriously. Yeah. And it, it was just a, a little few... bare bones. Yeah. yeah, there are a few goofy parts where it's like, "But mom, they're the gnarliest gang." <laughs> what? I've, I've not seen any other trauma films that were quite that tone. I have some fun facts about real life surf Nazis. Oh. Real thing. This is an article in the New York Times. More bad news, I guess. The first commercially made surfboards sold in California in the 30s had swastikas burned into their tails, were marketed as the swastika model. Well, was it like the ancient Hindu swastika? Sure, but then those are like, these are the oldest, coolest, rarest, collectible surfboards. So there's a <laughs> lot of swastikas involved in like collecting those. In the 1959 edition of a, a film series of surf movies called The Search for Surf, Greg Knoll included California surfers in Nazi stormtrooper uniforms riding flexi flyers in a storm drain while friends are holding a Third Reich flag. This is a 1959 surfer film. Oof. Wow. There's a movie also about surfing, also in 1959, called Gidget, telling the story of a cute girl who takes up surfing in Malibu. Yeah, that was famous, isn't it? Yeah, and so when this film came out, Gidget, lots and lots and lots of beginners descended on this part of, I guess, Malibu to try surfing. So a bunch of newbies are like, I'm going to do that now. It's a girl, a cuddling, befuddling teen who set out to find her a man of her own and found seven. You'll get to meet them all when you see Columbia Pictures' Gidget. 
brought to the screen from the bestseller that proves a teenager can be delightfully juvenile without being delinquent. What's the use? Well, let's see how much progress we made. Oh, it'll take forever to add even an inch. Well, the law is only 10 days away. Oh, that's only the half of it. To get this day tonight, I had a fork over cold cash. What kind of insanity has taken hold of this family? Cold cash? Flights of land? Do you think this is what the young man of today wants? You're so right. The man I'm after sure does want something else, and I'll see he gets it! So if you want to find out why all the boys fidget over Gidget the way slightly older men fidget over Bridget, don't miss Gidget. Filmed in Cinemascope and an eye full of color. Gidget, the story of the beach generation. Many people who were already into surfing were pissed. All the newbies taking up all the good waves. And they became known as surf Nazis. They pioneered the concept of localism, the idea that waves belong to surfers who grew up near them. Oh. And that interlopers deserve violence. Yikes. So surf Nazis, real thing. <laughs> Quote, yep. we'd paint a swastika on something for no other reason than to piss people off, which it did. And so the next time we'd paint two swastikas. <laughs> That's just, just early punks. Just edge lords. They'd yeah. be on 4chan today. This is a real thing. Well, this was not well. just let's mash up uh, zombies versus cowboys. Illinois Nazis. I hate Illinois Nazis. So in honor of our surfing episode, I've come up with a new score system. Okay. Where the top score is a 10, because you hang 10. I'm hanging hang 10, 10 right now. I don't I feel and the low score, score is you hang one. This is a unique one to 10 score system. Super unique. I invented. <laughs> so I want to know your hang one to hang 10. How many actors do you want hanged? <laughs> how many actors do you want hanged? <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Which one's going first? Which film do you prefer? I mean, I would watch the Surf Ninjas any day. Surf Ninjas you would watch any, any day. day. And Surf Nazis Must Die, you would watch Never. twice a day. Anyway. <laughs> Never again. No, no, thank you. Okay. Scott, I, mean, uh, I don't think I know where you're going. <laughs> Quan Su, dude. Yeah, that's like, 100 minutes of my life that I'll never get back. Yeah. All day, every day, Surf Ninjas. Yeah, Surf Ninjas is definitely the superior film. Spell, motherfucker! I'm going Surf Nazis Must Die. What? So much better. Who oh my god, it's coming? so much better. I am shocked. <laughs> Surf Ninjas is capitalist American dream. We're spreading democracy commercial. It's a commercial for a video game. Mm -hmm. we're, we're spreading democracy because the kids are like, oh, well, I'm the king now and I dissolve the monarchy because like pro-America neoliberal bullshit. Like you know what that leads to? Civil war. <laughs> Four hours. Like, Four hours. Did you see that guy's dick in that shot? Oh my god. That's oh yeah, I think there was a little bit. Four hours after that, there's a military junta <laughs> yeah. in this country. <laughs> Twelve hours later, genocide. I mean, I feel he like... is, They have just ruined that country yeah. immediately. I feel like you read into that last speech a little bit too much. No, I said this the is, same thing when, when the first time I was like, there's no constitution set up. You just flooded this population with arms. It's a toy commercial, ultimately. Okay. It's a pandering toy commercial. But who knows that, that hasn't done the research? It features the Game Gear so goddamn much. <laughs> the Game Gear is a seer device that can see into the future. Right. It's a toy commercial. It's pandering to little kids and it's trying to be funny and it's not funny. <laughs> this film is not funny. <laughs> You're like, hey, we'll cast Leslie Nielsen. He'll be funny, right? <laughs> Meanwhile, Meanwhile, Surf Nazis Must Die is not a pandering film. It's a provocative film <laughs> with deeper themes. <laughs> deeper <laughs> themes, yes. okay. It's about how capitalism is collapsing. Oh. And when that happens, fascists will rise again. Mm. Fascists will always come back. Wait. And they're pieces of shit and you can easily defeat them even if you're an old grandma. Just gotta kill them. That's a message of hope right there. <laughs> fascists will always message come back, but you can kill them. Mm -hmm. This film is not pandering. It's not for little kids. It is not a toy commercial. There is no studio executive going, we can't do that because we can't sell Game Gears. I mean, you don't know that's what happened on Surf Ninjas. I'm pretty positive. You're a super. Yeah, I don't know. Lloyd Kaufman says no a lot. <laughs> Lloyd Kaufman is a <laughs> Unless whole it costs lot of, like... money. The only time Lloyd Kaufman says no is when it costs money. I know one thing that, I don't know if it was Lloyd, but Troma insisted. It was supposed to just be called Surf Nazis. And he was like, 
Can we make sure they know we're not pro Nazi? <laughs> so that's why it's called Serve Nazis Must Die. Okay. <laughs> so that is my position. Uh, if the two options are commercialist studio execs going like, let's make a star out of this person and let's sell video games and let's sell toys. And the other one's like, let's do this weird idea I got. I'm always going with that guy every time. I respect that yeah. position. Have I changed your mind at all? Nope. Okay. <laughs> You've, made me, you've changed my mind about which one is a better film. But which one would I rather have on in the background every now and then? This one. Look at it. <laughs> Just look at it. No. If you can't hear I'm them... I'm gonna alternate. If you can't hear them and their dumb quips and Rob Schneider being weird, I'd rather watch this. <laughs> well, let's grab a, We're gonna chop this lady's head off in a second. Oh, no, I already missed it. You missed it. We already did it. She's about to blow Hitler's She's brains out, She's about to though. blow Hitler's brains yeah. out. In a boat, delivering a one liner, smoking a cigar. I will never watch Surf Nazis Must Die again. I might watch Surf Ninjas again tomorrow. I guarantee you will watch Surf Ninjas again. <laughs> You're going to order the game on Amazon tonight, I, aren't I you? I might, yeah. I the might Game Gear. It. It's like eight bucks. Yeah. yeah. Will so you ever appear in another episode? Will you ever make the mistake of saying, Jeff, yes? <laughs> I'm going to suck your dick like I'm mad at it. Let's do that. I feel like I was telling yes you. Yes or no. Yeah, yes or no. Will you ever be in another episode? My intention are you was, down? Are you down for this? My intention was to be so terrible at it that I wasn't invited back. You're trying to be uninvited. <laughs> I was blackout drunk for one. You're not going to get out of it. But I feel like you were probably more entertaining blackout drunk. So... <laughs> Pretty great. He licked his own foot. Uh, I, what I else did you do? He drank hot sauce I can do that, fun. but I won't. Oh, be. I did do that, yeah. If they announce tomorrow that they are making a sequel... Which film are you hoping is a sequel? It's Surf a big Ninjas. budget. Surf Ninjas. Big budget sequel. I hope Ernie Reyes Jr. reprises his role, but plays the villain this time. Whoever... Do I get to choose who gets the big budget to make their sequel? Sure. Yeah. Oh, I choose Surf Nazis. You, I'm producing... You're a producer with $100 million in your back pocket. You have to spend Brewster's Million style. I don't want to make either of them. You have to. You, you, I have to make one You're trying to lose money. It's a producer I'm situation. I'm trying to lose money. Yeah, it's a tax You've got to spend this $100 million. These are the two intellectual properties we own. Surf Ninjas, then. You want to see more yeah. Surf Ninjas? Why don't you mash them up? Surf Ninjas... Must Nazi. Must kill Surf Nazis. Surf Ninjas versus Surf Nazis. Surf Nazi ninjas <laughs> must surf. Must surf. That's what it is. It's trying to teach Nazis how to surf again. Like we surf already have it, Mama. Nazis revenge. must yeah. stay dead and they're zombies. <laughs> oh. Surf Nazis won't die. Eee, that sounds a little. <laughs> not too much. You know, Lloyd said it didn't want to sound pro Nazi in the title. Yeah. That sounds a little. It is pretty producer to make a movie about Nazi. Springtime to Hitler. Not yeah. exploitation. Producers, a uh, film within a film. Yeah. Let's shoot on VHS cameras the producers with us, and the film that we're producing is Surf, Surf Nazis, Nazis, Nazis in the Time. We'll cut yeah. the clips From a landlocked state. Yeah. <laughs> it doesn't have to be a sequel. Are the you back to the year spending $100 million? Yeah, the in movie we're making doesn't have to be a sequel. Can it be a prequel? Can we Anything see where these want. people are before they become the Surf post apocalyptic? Hitler youth surfers <laughs> will die eventually. Sure. <laughs> yeah. We're the gnarliest game around, Mom. Yeah, right. I'm your worst fucking nightmare. I'm his personal bitch. A lady's gun. <laughs> Shut the fuck up, both of you. Hey. 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 Hey.